current situation. The movers are moving everything in while there's a party still going on upstairs and it's like eight o'clock at night. Baby is passed up, freak out on the bed. This guy's moving everything in. Hello, sir, how you doing? Yeah, Hell right. yeah. <laughs> baby, baby, your girlfriend's moving in, wake up. All right, good talk, babe. What's going on guys? I'll show you how to make TWAP's text effect in Final Cut Pro 10. But before we begin, I want to give a special thanks for today's sponsor, Manicam. Manicam is a website, software, and video switcher that allows you to create professional looking live streams. Some of the cool features include customizable interface, drag widgets around and place all your favorite tools together, multiple video sources, add up to 12 different sources such as live video, pre-recorded audio images and backgrounds or even your mobile camera. Record your screen, live streams and video chats, desktop screencasting, share your entire screen or custom areas, last but not least the built-in color correction, add effects, filters and 3D face masks and so on. Alright guys, so jumping into the actual tutorial, this is what I'm going to show you guys. I'm pretty sure you guys already saw this in the very beginning of the video. But this is the effect right here as you can see. You guys can do this in Final Cut Pro 10 or any other, you know, application or editing uh, application in that case. But I want to show you guys specifically in Final Cut Pro 10 because Final Cut Pro 10 already has all of the things that you guys need for this effect. You know, the RGB split, the kind of shaky effect, and that kind of radio blur around the actual text. Now, a lot of people may obviously say that, oh, this is so easy to do, I can do it. I mean, yeah, you can, but a lot of people are really curious and they really want to know how to do it. So that's the reason why I'm doing this tutorial. So um, this is a short clip here from a vlog, uh, Alyssa Violet's vlog. And I'll go ahead and play it for you guys one more time so you can see what the effect is and how you would use it. So current situation, the movers are moving everything in while there's a party still going on upstairs and it's like eight o'clock at night. Baby is passed up, freak out on the bed. This guy's moving everything in. Hello, sir, how you doing? Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> baby, baby, your girlfriend's moving in, wake up. All right, good talk, babe. All right, so right there is the effect right here, and you would use it, of course, on a vlog. You wouldn't really use this on a film or anything like that if it's like more comedic. So that's kind of the reason why they add it. Now, this effect is mainly from TWAP. TWAP edits all of the phase clan members. All right, so the first thing you want to go ahead and do is add your footage. So I have the video here, but of course, this is from Alyssa Violet's vlog. So I'm going to go ahead and go in here. And you want to go ahead and add a text. So I'm going to do this from scratch and show you guys how to do this. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to go into the titles and generators tab. In the titles, go to titles and then go to the custom title and drag that on your video or wherever you want to add your text. So I want it to start right where she says baby. So let's see. It's like 8 o'clock at night. Baby. All right. That's actually perfect. So I'm going to do it right there is where she starts talking. And I'm going to go ahead and finish it when she stops talking. Baby is passed up. Freak out on the bed. All right. So right there is where she stops talking. So I'm going to use the blade tool. I'm going to cut that and delete that right there. And then I'm going to change the text. So double click on here and it will bring up the inspector window. So here you can change the actual font. I'm not sure exactly what font they used, but I think it's Arial or something along the lines of Arial. Um, if you guys have the exact font, then I would love for you guys to comment that down below. But for now, I'm going to use the font Arial, and that's pretty much a very basic font. But they made it look really interesting, and I'll show you guys how to do that. So Arial, and then the font right here, we're going to do Italic. Now, if you guys don't have this uh, font installed in your system, I'll leave a download link in the description of this video. So go ahead and change that. Add your text. So let me play one more time. Baby is passed up. Freak out on the bed. Yeah, so that's what she said. All right, so once you are finished with the actual text and you added everything here, what we're going to go ahead and do is change the size and everything if you want. I think everything is just kept the same. Just click and drag this down to around here. That should be about a lower third of the video there. So once we're done with that, we want to go ahead and add our effects. So go into the uh, video inspector here. So select the text, go into the effects browser, and in the uh, blur, we're going to go ahead and add our blur. So we're going to do the prism blur, and that will give us our RGB uh, split effect, which is pretty much what the main effect is. So drag that onto your text right there. Once you are done with that, the new effect will be in the effects there, and you can change or disable this if you want. So right here, there's going to be a little arrow. You guys can go ahead and drag this to your taste. You can make it really um blurry with the rgb split there or you can go ahead and customize it i think they use it at around 150 degrees 
around there and then they increased it a little bit i'm not i don't i know for sure he doesn't really use final cut he uses premiere pro but um if you guys are doing this in final cut pro 10 this is what you would do so you would increase it to around 7 and 150 degrees let's get that exact exactly there it looks like that if it's too much just decrease the amount so i think like that is perfect so maybe five in between five and seven points is what you want once you're done with that we're going to add this radio blur here don't get scared if it looks like that we're going to fix that so drag that onto your text as well and then you're going to have this there's going to be a little circle drag that down in between or in the middle of that text there and you're going to have the radio you can drag that up or down um, these are pretty much the way you organize your layers so that they don't mess up any of your other effects so just decrease the amount to barely anything really so maybe one point or maybe even just one or you can do a lot more but i think one is just enough and then you're pretty much good here now the last thing you guys want to do is either add a handheld effect or an earthquake effect and to do that go to the distortion and add a earthquake effect so this is what it will look like with the earthquake effect so it will look a little bit like that okay sometimes twop does use this effect in some of uh the clout gang members but you guys can go ahead and just adjust this to your liking so maybe like four so it's not too rough right there uh, or you can do uh, different stuff so you can do layers so the more layers you have the more the effect will take place maybe it's passed up. as you can see uh, or no layers at all uh, I like to keep it in between three and four um, now that's the earthquake effect right so you can barely see anything is happening or you can make it a little bit more drastic so around there so that's what it will look like okay, with the earthquake effect. Now, if you want the handheld effect, you want to go into, I believe it's stylize. And in the stylize, look for the handheld effect right there. And this will add that kind of handheld look. Uh, this is kind of similar to uh, an effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. I'm not sure what it's called. But go ahead and change the values here so we have the shakeness. So we can increase this a lot and that will make it like that which is something you might want to do but in this case i don't really mess with the handheld i like earthquake a little bit better because it just looks a little nicer you're gonna start seeing this a lot in you know vitaly's videos or any other big youtuber um it's just become very famous especially in nelk's videos as well so if you found this tutorial helpful in any way be sure to leave a like comment down below and i'll catch you guys next time back then Peace they out. used to doubt me now i'm taking business trips made more money than the teacher they thought i was selling bricks i be balling on my haters like i'm playing for the knicks if it ain't about no fans i don't